today, what I want to I want to touch on is the reason, the reason why why we walk, the reason why uh, why this matters. In other words, what's at stake? Whether or not I walk out my faith. Let's go to the scripture. We've been quoting this here and there uh, throughout our time together. That's James chapter one. Um, And I'm going to read verses 21 through 25 just for a moment. And I'm going to probably get hung up on one spot and that's okay. Because I just want to I want to share a thought with you this morning. He says here, therefore, laying aside all filthiness and and overflow of wickedness, overflow meaning abundance, so abundance of wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. What is he saying? He's saying in order for you to receive the word of God in your heart, the implanted word, I don't have enough time to really work through this, but Jesus identifies the word as seed. So in order to receive that seed of the word of God in the soil of your heart, he says, you must do so with meekness. You must do so with humility. Okay. And so um, sometimes when we go into, when we, when we are, when we're being introduced to the faith or when we're being confronted by the word of God, sometimes we throw our guards up. Sometimes we say, no, no, I, mm-mm, I, I go with other stuff, but not that. I want to encourage you that in the order, the only way that we can receive his word is that we must be able to do so with humility, with meekness. He says, which is able, this word is able to save your soul. It is. I mean, above all else, brothers and sisters, that's the number one thing that's at stake here is your salvation. Mm hmm. Not only did Jesus save us, but we must work out our salvation. Yeah, he did save us Uh Uh, um, by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. He did. He did. But understand that we must work out. We must walk out our salvation every single day. Now, look at verse 22. This is the one that we've been quoting a lot. He said, But be doers of the word and not not hearers only. Be doers of the word and not hearers only. Uh, What does that look like? That looks like um, when I go to church on Sunday morning and I hear the preacher preaching and I say, you better preach. And I mean, oh, you know, we dance and we we run and we holler and and we, we, we throw our hand at them and this and that. Yeah, all of that is is real good. But. Let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. Um, What happens after Sunday? In fact, what happens after the benediction? You see, that word benediction means blessing. And um, we receive the blessing from the pastor. But then do we walk in that blessing? Do we experience that blessing throughout the rest of our week? You see, the only way that we can do that is that we've got to continue in the work of our faith. All right. All right. All right. Let's keep going here. He said, he said, be doers of the word, not only not hearers only. And he says, here's what happens. He says, you only deceive yourself. You will only deceive yourself if you are a hearer and not a doer. Somebody say, don't be deceived. (laughs) <laughs> don't, don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Now, look at this. Now he makes it practical. He says, verse 23, for if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man. He is like a man or woman observing himself in a mirror, mm-hmm. observing his natural face in a mirror for he observes himself, goes away And immediately forgets what kind of man he was. You know how crazy that would be for a person to look themselves in the mirror and they forget what kind of person they are. They forget who they are. Don't even know what they look like anymore. I didn't know I had on blue today. I didn't know that I was wearing glasses. 
know, some of us do that, but that's besides the point. I didn't know. I didn't. I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, uh, but you see how crazy that sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Forgot what kind of man he was. Uh, do you know what kind of man you are? Do you know what kind of woman you are? This is a this is an actual question. Do you know? <clears throat> Forgive me. Do you know what kind of man you are? Do you know what kind of woman you are? You see, something happened when you gave your life to Jesus, and I got to let this go. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. So the old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. You're a new person. You're not the person who you were before. And the mistake that we make is that when we are only hearers of the word and not doers of the word, we look at this word and we see who we are in Christ. But when we don't do it, we forget. You didn't know that every time you look at this word, you see Jesus. You see the very person that you're being conformed into his image. So it's so important that we not just be doers, or well, hearers of the word rather, but that we become doers. And that's the reason why we walk. I got to give you this last part. It'll bless you, literally. He says here, but he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it is not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work. This one will be blessed in what he does. The one that's a doer and not just a hearer, the one that does the work, that person will be blessed. Don't you want to be blessed? How is it that your blessing has been wearing off? Don't go complaining to God about it. Take a moment and find out, are you just a hearer or are you a doer? That's the contingency of your blessing. I want to pray for you today because I believe that you understand the reason why we walk, that you're adding feet to your faith, that you won't just simply be a hearer of the word, but you will be also a doer. And I believe that we're going to see that you're going to be just like Jesus because you've added feet to your faith. Father, we thank you today on this TGIF Friday. Father, you've been so faithful. You've been good. Father, as we embarked upon this journey, Father, we did so by faith. We walked by faith and not by sight. Father, with an expectation that we will become just a little bit more like Jesus that we will become more like your son. Father, we acknowledge today that your word, it reveals to us who we are in Jesus. Every person under the sound of my voice that's given their life to Jesus, Father, the old man has passed away, but it seems like we've been walking around in that old skin, walking around in that old personality when we forget who we are in Jesus. Father, today we repent. We repent of that mindset. We repent of that old nature. We repent of those old habits. And we decide to walk in the identity that's in your son, Jesus Christ. Father, we won't be conformed to this world, but we'll be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Lord, I pray for blessings over every person that's here. I pray that we will continue in that blessing as we do the work of faith. I pray that, Father, that you will cause us today to not just meet our goals, but exceed them. I pray that, Father, that you will lead us and guide us by your spirit. Father, for every matter that's been identified, Father, I don't know all of the issues, but you know that, Father, that there are those who are in need of prayer today, who have uh, relational issues, emotional issues, Father, health issues, Father, we pray that you would touch them right now in the name of Jesus. And Father, we call it to be done in Jesus' name. And as we close out this prayer, we pray as your son taught us, 
And we say, Our Father who is in heaven, holy is your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Lord, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. And all of God's children say, Amen. Well, God bless you. My name is Enrique Brooks, Senior Pastor of Thrive Church and host of the Prayer 365 podcast. Where we're on a mission to transform lives through the lifestyle of prayer. I thank God for your presence this morning. I encourage you to take a moment and reflect on the thought as the reason why we walk. What's your reason? You don't want to just be a hearer, but you shall be a doer of the word of God. God bless you.